Howdy, howdy, legends. It's everyone's favorite professional Apex Legends caster and analyst, Zephyr here, back for another video. Season 16 is just around the corner, and we have so much information to break down. So, stay tuned to hear all of the key things that are changing in Apex Legends Season 16. But first, our question of the day. Which weapon would you have put in the care package this season? So, now that we have your answer to our question of the day, let's see what Respawn's answer was. Drumroll, please. The Hemlock. The Hemlock is heading into the Grafter and will be replacing the Rampage that is coming back to the floor. We're yet to see if the Rampage will be changed in any way, but it's a solid guess to assume that it will lose its perma charge and it'll go back to losing charge over time if not used. The Hemlock, though, is getting a huge buff and will take the boosted loader as default. We don't know its full stats yet, but we are told it is going to be juiced. But why is the Hemlock in the package? Well, that's to make room for the newest weapon in Apex. It has been ages since Apex had a new weapon and we are finally getting something. The Nemesis is a burst energy weapon that will have a ramping fire rate. However, unlike the other burst weapons in the game, it will be automatic. So pressing the trigger will fire the five shots, followed by another five faster and faster as the mag goes on. Damage numbers are still to be revealed, but playtesters have hinted that this weapon is strong. So finally, another energy weapon. The biggest and most significant change to Apex Legends is the new class system. This will totally reshape the way that Apex plays out and means that each legend is at least in some way changed. There are actual legend ability changes that we will cover later on in the video. So let's run through each class, who's in it, and what their new class perk is. Assault. Bangalore, Revenant, Fuse, Ash, and Mad Maggie. The new Assault class is for the most aggressive legends. They get two very strong perks. Firstly, they get extra ammo per stack. For 60 stacks, they get an extra 20, for shotgun an extra 8, and for sniper an extra 14. So 80 for most ammo, up to 21 shotgun ammo, and up to 42 sniper. Then, Assault Legends also get access to a new type of loot bin. There are now new weapon supply bins across the map, and they have a secret shelf just like the blue lifeline bins we already have. This tray is smart, so it gives you loot based off of what you need. Opening the tray grants the following. Four smart loot attachments for you or your team's current loadout, or if no one has a weapon, a weapon with two attachments. The minimum rarity is rare, aka blue. One slot is always going to be an optic, and the chances you get a magazine or hop-up are lower than the other items. Skirmisher. The Skirmisher class is basically all of your movement legends. Wraith, Valkyrie, Octane, Horizon, Mirage, Pathfinder. Yes, that is right. Pathfinder is finally getting a new passive. However, it blows. The Skirmisher class has by far the weakest perk in the game from the new class system. They can spot care packages as they land and see what's inside and see if they get looted. That's it. Just that. Yeah. Looking for a leg up in Apex? Pro Guides has everything you need to supercharge your gameplay to the next level. From detailed in-game knowledge and guides to specialist coaches, whatever your gameplay needs, we've got you covered. Why not sit down with an Apex Predator and get direct feedback on your gameplay? Perhaps ask them for their tips and tricks on how to reach the next rank in Apex. Check out the link in the description and let's go! Recon a class we all know and love, Recon features Bloodhound, Crypto, Seer, and Vantage. There is, though, a big change here. Each of these legends can scan a survey beacon. Great, same as always. However, what information you get from these has changed massively. Instead of seeing the next zone, you now get a Crypto Map Room style scan of the entire map. Scanning a modified survey beacon reveals all players for 30 seconds. Yes! 30. A big change, but also a big new ability. Controller. No, not that kind of controller. Watson, Caustic, Rampart, and Catalyst don't get bonus aim assist. Instead, they can use the new ring consoles to reveal the next zone. Respawn have swapped this ability over from Recon because playing Controller Legends tends to be the play if you want to rotate fast, set up, and wait out the zones. These consoles will be placed lower down, so don't worry about doing some gas daddy parkour to reach them. We don't know where they'll spawn yet, though. 
it does seem that they are randomly spawning though, just like survey beacons. Support. Then finally, the remaining legends, Lifeline, Loba, Gibraltar, and Newcastle fall into the support class. These legends get a huge new mechanic that has never been in Apex Legends before. Support legends can officially craft expired banners. Yes, you heard me. Expired banners can now be crafted. Better yet, it only costs 30 crafting materials. Two teammates dead? That still only means one craft. Both banners can be crafted for just 30 materials. And if that wasn't enough, all of these legends can now access the special shelf in the blue bins. This shelf gets a rework. It has survival items inside and will give you what you need based on where you are. If you're outside the ring, the percent chance of heat shields is increased. If you have a banner, you get increased percent chance of getting a mobile respawn beacon. There is a logic though that also prevents you from getting duplicates of an item. Respawn says that they are keeping these classes under review and development, even hinting that legends could change classes entirely in the future. Classes are clearly a new balance change, so how do you feel about it? We also know a bunch of legend changes. No official patch notes yet, but some general details. Seer is getting a reduced ultimate frequency and duration. Bloodhound is getting a major change. Their ultimate is going to show white ravens, which fly in the direction of the nearest squad, but the ultimate no longer shortens your scan cooldown. Wraith is finally getting buffed. She's getting double portal length distance and her speed is doubled while portaling. Pathfinder's getting changes. That's right, Pathy's getting changed. Pathfinder now has a faster zipline speed and a much longer distance on his zipline ultimate as well as that reworked but still useless passive and remember that accidental horizon nerf it is back horizon now has reduced weapon accuracy in her lift the higher she goes the less accurate it is plus you now go up the lift faster also getting changes is mirage he now gets a reviving cloak, as does whoever he revives, for three seconds after finishing a revive, which is broken by drawing your weapon. If you shoot a decoy, you are now revealed to the whole team for a short time. So, is Mirage meta? Lifeline also gets some changes. Less slowdown after revival and care package drop speed and range are now being increased. Now, is there a new legend this season, I hear you ask? No, for the first time in Apex history, there is no new legend to join the season changes. We know very little about the upcoming changes to the Apex weapon meta, but here is what we do know. There are now golden shotgun bolts, which are going to work somewhat like a kinetic feeder did for reloading weapons automatically. The Mastiff and Peacekeeper are now taking stocks and have slightly bigger pellet sizes. The R301 is getting nerfed, losing one damage, and all ARs are getting a significant hipfire nerf, but we don't know how that'll affect these weapons in-game yet. We are finally getting the long-requested LTM playlist called Mixtape. This will replace Arenas, not being merged into it, Arenas is actually getting completely nuked from the game and will be totally gone when Season 16 is released. This LTM playlist will feature control, gun range, and the latest LTM in Apex on a 15 minute rotation. Apex is finally getting a team deathmatch model, but how does it work? It will be a 6v6 with set loadouts like control has. You can swap legends and load out freely with automatic shield regening. 30 kills wins a round and the first team to win two rounds will get the overall victory. Respawn admits that they know this mode will be used as a warm-up, as will the whole playlist, but they are committing to keep the games healthy, fresh, and well-maintained. They're hoping to add more, but not all LTMs to the playlist in the future, so honestly from us, this is very exciting. But we do have to ask, will you miss arenas? Let us know in the comments if you were a big arena player, or maybe if you weren't. For now, that is the rundown of everything we know about Apex Season 16. Come back for more Apex Legends content as we learn more about Revelry.